And we knew that when we were taking Clint that he was going to, you know, he's a coach's kid. And he's been raised pretty tough probably, and so uh, he's tough. Complicated last week because maybe Oklahoma State was familiar and you kind of had to be sneaky, and that just that was another thing for him to deal with. I don't think it was overly complicated. I mean, there were some, um, you know, the last week, and I said the last couple weeks, we hadn't been overly complicated this year, in my opinion. And so it's not just the quarterback. I mean, we got a lot of new guys out there in a lot of different positions. So we're trying to keep it as simple as possible and, and, and also have it, the ability to attack the defense, you know. And uh, we don't want to be predictable. And uh, so I many times when you simplify things to that extent, you can be predictable. So it's a fine line there, but we are trying to get it to where they can they can execute it. Mr. Baylor's defensive improvement, how much of that is a product of who they played? How much of it is a product of just their overall improvement from this? I'm not thinking it's definitely improved. You can you can look at their defense through the course of last year, you know, and they played some pretty tough teams at the end of last year, and they improved through the course of the year. The last game they played was UCLA. They played pretty dead gum good, and so, you know, I mean, you can only and I, you know you can only play the people that are on your schedule, and so that's who they had to play, you know. So I mean. It's hard to score that many points against air. It's hard to hold people to zero and seven points. You know, by accident, some people can score 14 or 21. So those guys are playing good football. And I mean, um, I mean, so I mean, we'll see Saturday. You know, I mean, I think our defense is playing well. It'll be a good matchup to watch.